Hi guys, it's Cece, and today is going to be the start of my Black Vow Hatsune Miku cosplay work log series. Um, so first I'm just going to start off with the sketch that I have because not everybody watching this might know what dress I'm making, so... The dress looks a little something like this, and um, this is the more elaborate version from the music video. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit more time consuming than some of the projects that I've done up until this point. So um, yeah, basically I'm making a giant wedding dress and I'm a little bit intimidated and I've been procrastinating for a really long time on this because I'm just not feeling very motivated to start because I know it's going to be a whole bunch of work. I will let you guys know what I'm using as materials. So the main fabric that I'm using for most of the dress is this black bridal satin and this is the non-shiny side. Um, it looks like this and this is the same fabric that I used for my Synchronicity Luca cosplay and I really liked it. It photographs really nicely and it doesn't look too cheap. It's about 10 bucks a yard and I bought 7 yards of this fabric. And I also have two yards of fusible interfacing. Um, if you don't know what this is, it makes your fabric a little bit stiffer and I'm going to be using this for the bodice of the dress. And then so far I only have two fake flowers. These are going to go on the bow that's near the waist of the dress. Um, so I have this really large rose and I'm going to paint these little inside parts black eventually. And then I have this kind of like I don't know what kind of flower this is, but it's another black flower and I want to get a third one and it'll look pretty hopefully. So um, since I'm not feeling super motivated right now actually, um, I'm going to start off with something easy. I think that today I'm going to go ahead and drape the bodice of the dress because that's something that I can do a little bit with like less strain I guess on myself. It doesn't require a ton of like effort put into it, um, and I'll, I might style the wig, I might do another makeup test today, so um, yeah, but what you guys will see is me draping the bodice, and if you don't know what that means, it means I'm making the pattern for the top part of the dress. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here is what you are going to need for draping your bodice pattern. Um, you're going to need some fabric that has the same amount of stretch as the fabric that you are using for the actual bodice. Um, you'll need something to mark the fabric with, and some pins, and you will also need a dress form. You really can't do this without a dress form, so um, what I'm doing is I'm just pinning this fabric tightly onto the dress form, and once I have it fitted the way I want it to, um, I'm taking my measurements and I am tracing out um, all the measurements I took onto the fabric so that it's the right shape and size for what I need. Alright, so after you have it all traced out, you can go ahead and cut that. Um, if you want, you can add seam allowance, but I didn't just because of how I mark out my pieces, I guess. And here I'm just marking the pattern piece so I know what it is. And here are all the pattern pieces that I had for my bodice. So when I go to cut out the fabric, um, like the actual outer fabric, um, I trace it out with chalk after pinning it to um, the fabric and I add seam allowance when I cut it out. Also just so you guys are aware, this piece that I'm doing right now is the center piece, so it's cut on the fold. Um, 
So yeah, just make sure that you know how your pattern pieces work so that you cut out the right number of them and that they're going the right direction and all that stuff. I use the line that I trace around the pattern pieces as my sew line so I know where to sew the pieces together. You're also going to go ahead and cut out your pattern pieces of fusible interfacing and your lining fabric. So in the end you should have um, how many ever pattern pieces of your outer, fa outer fabric, your interfacing and your lining. Um, at this point I didn't have my lining fabric yet, but it does, it looks the same as the, the inner fabric except it's blue cotton, not black bridal satin. Um, but you're going to go ahead and take your interfacing and you're going to put the nubby side of the interfacing to the wrong side of your fabric. Um, and once you have it all lined up, you're just going to iron it until it is fully adhered to the fabric. Alright, so here I have all of my pieces pinned together. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just want to pin them together. Sometimes um, the pieces are gonna be kind of a hassle. You're gonna have to rustle them into place, especially if you're doing a bodice like this where it goes over your bust. Um, but after you have them pinned, just sew it up. I have the outer part of the bodice pinned to my dress form and it's pinned inside out. And I also have that back part they're pinned together as if there would be a zipper in it and what I'm going to do right now is just check the fit and make sure that everything is fitting okay and for the most part it looks pretty good the only thing I'm noticing is a bit of bagginess underneath um, the roundest part of the chest so I'm just going to go ahead and take that in a little bit Okay, so now that I have it taken in, I'm going to sew up the places that need to be smaller, so I'll sew along this line of pins here, and also on the other side, and I will do the same exact thing to the lining piece, which is the same exact shape as this, just a different fabric. And then after that, I'm going to try each of the pieces of the bodice, the front and the lining, on my actual body to see how it fits, and possibly make more alterations. 